We'll talk tomorrow. Now, the talk tomorrow ain't gonna work for me. I'm gonna be going, going to Jamaica, getting on plane. What? Yeah. I'm gonna pack my goddamn bags, go to the airport, get a ticket for goddamn Kingston. So prior to this scene, and the episodes before, I already knew that Jerome was going to die very soon, before the show ends, because of the fact that he wants to get out. I mean, I've seen enough TV shows by now to know that when side characters, um, kind of main characters, but not really, um, try to get out, they end up dying, especially in violent shows like this. So I necessarily didn't need to ask myself why Jerome wanted to get out. Um, I figured it out a long time ago, but he explained it to Louis and to the rest of us. Take a listen. I think you're looking for a fight, and I ain't biting. I ain't looking for no goddamn fight. I'm telling you, I'm goddamn done. I'm done selling crack. I'm done getting shot at. I'm done trying to kill my goddamn family. You okay? Fine. So I always thought Jerome had a really good heart, and he makes a good point. Like he's done selling drugs, he's done getting shot out, and he really don't want to try to kill his family. But he loves Louis, which is a large part of the reason why he went through with this whole thing in the first place. And to Jerome, just like myself, like everything that Louis was doing up to this point, it didn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense at all. But Jerome explains even further why he wants to get out. Take a listen. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Maybe you're supposed to acknowledge this shit is fucking insanity. The money ain't worth this shit, Lou. No matter how fucking wrong this shit is, ain't nothing gonna make it right. And I agree with Jerome 110%. The money is not worth everything that they have to go through. People dying, dealing with other gang members, dealing with the CIA and the KGB. This stuff is just madness that they're putting themselves through. They have plenty of money. There's no reason for them to continue this. Take your money, pass it off to someone else, and walk away. To me, I really thought this scene was incredibly powerful because he kind of gives her a choice. Check it out. Or maybe, maybe you stopped this shit because you love me. Mm. I know I stayed in this shit for you, right? Because if I left, your ass be dead. And he makes two really powerful points right there. If she loved him, she would give that, uh, that life up for him. But she's not willing to do that. So that tells me right there how much she really loves him. And then the shoe on the other foot, we can tell how much he really loves her because he was willing to alienate his family and try to kill his family for her, for her mission, for her dream, which is crazy. And we found out later on in this episode, without Jerome being around, she ends up getting caught by Kane and she almost dies. But I'm goddamn done. I ain't my problem no more. I'm free of this shit. You don't need this. It's the realest thing I ever fucking said to you. And when he said, I'm free of all of it, I, I actually clapped during that part because I thought that was amazing. Get out, Jerome. And I hope that he would, but it didn't end up that way. But the next morning when Lou and Jerome have a conversation, she kind of lays it all out there why she did what she did. And she actually gave us some closure and Jerome as well. Check it out. I've been asking myself why. Why I couldn't just be happy with where we were? Because we have money, right? Power, respect. And it's true. The same things that she asked herself, I consistently asked myself. Why did she feel like she needed to go over Franklin's head straight to Teddy and try to sell on her own? They were making a lot of money. They had a lot of power. Um, they had a lot of respect. They didn't need to take that chance. It was unnecessary for her to do that. But she explains even further why she did what she did. And it makes sense now. Because I've been running this thing, right? And you see that. But our customers, all they see is you. Every deal we make, they talking to you. They look at me long enough to wink or lick their lips. They ain't dealing with me. Is that enough to die over? Self-fucking-worth? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't the biggest fan of Louis to begin with, but this just made it even worse for me. How selfish she became 
over the course of the series because she wasn't getting the recognition that she felt like she deserved. Everyone that they had to deal with, sell drugs to, buy from, they normally address Jerome. And it's a lot of respect for the man that's in the situation. So if I am dealing drugs with my wife, most men are going to address me and not my wife not to, in order to not offend me. But she doesn't see it that way. She wants power and respect directed at her. And listen one more time to what Jerome asked her. Is that enough to die over? Self fucking worth? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think maybe it is. So because she didn't get the respect that she felt like she deserved, she's willing to die and for everyone else to die in that situation. Right then and there is when Jerome should have walked out of the room, got on a plane, and left to Jamaica. Right at that point, you knew, and we all should have known, that she didn't love him enough to get out the game or to even spare his life. She was going to put him in a situation where the, that was going to get him killed and the rest of the family just because she didn't get the respect that she deserved. Or, I'm sorry, the respect she felt she deserved. What? She hadn't done anything to this point to deserve any kind of respect. Crazy. No, I've done everything for you. Everything. I know you have, Jerome. So when you're saying that you can't do that here, that you've done, I hear you. But I just need more time because I made promises. You mean like Teddy? So if we fast forward it a little bit, we can see that Louis has gone to ride her horse and she has now been captured by Kane's men. Kane calls Franklin and informs him that he has a surprise for him. So when Franklin shows up, imagine his shock when he sees Louis strapped to a chair. Well, he's probably not too shocked considering he's the one who informed Kane that Louis would be riding her horse. Franklin tries to do Louis what he thinks is a solid by telling her to just go ahead and tell Kane what he wants to know and pray for a quick death. And pray for a quick death. Because what these niggas plan to do to you, why do that to yourself? So you might be asking yourself, why would Franklin give up Louis? I mean, that's his uncle's wife, right? She's family. Well, let me show you. I approached Teddy, made a deal to buy my cocaine directly from him. You went to the plug behind my back. You're trying to be reasonable. And what if I say fuck your fucking reasons? And Franklin also warned Louis several episodes ago, I think probably like a couple seasons ago, to not mess with his money. Check it out. Y'all want to go out on your own? Fine. But do not for one second fuck around with what I got to do to get mine. Because I promise you, there is nothing I'm not prepared to do. He sounded awfully serious right there and look at the intensity in his face look at his eyes he's not playing around and right about now louis is starting to realize how serious franklin was so after franklin leaves louis behind he pulls over to the side because he's had a change of heart and he contacts his uncle jerome so in the final scene franklin and jerome shoot their way into the warehouse where they go to save louis as you can see here but as Jerome and Kane exchange gunfire, they both take hits to the chest. And I've read a bunch of comments online. Everyone is shook up at the fact that Jerome gets shot in the chest and dies on the floor. Hands down, next to Franklin, he is one of my favorite characters or was one of my favorites. Um, sad to see him go out that way. I think they could have came up with a better way for him to meet his end. I knew he had to die eventually, especially because he was trying to leave. But... I mean, this may sound wrong, but I honestly think that Louis should have died instead of Jerome. I mean, listen again one more time to what she said when she had the conversation with Jerome. Is that enough to die over? Self fucking worth? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think maybe it is. So exactly how could she be crying, hurt, upset at the fact that Jerome died when she was prepared for everyone to die in that situation, not just herself? So let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Louis should have died or Jerome? You wanted to be out in front. Now 
now you are.